Mr. Crenshaw, or should I say Mayor Crenshaw, how does it feel to be the new king of Omega City? I lived here my entire life, you know, and I, I remember as a kid struggling, my family struggling, and I, I made a vow when I ran for office that that would, that would make sure that no one suffered anymore. And I'm just looking forward to this great opportunity to serve this great city and see what we can do to make it better. Anyone who saw your ad campaigns during the elections knows that your opponent, Larry Lovett, wasn't afraid to play dirty. What are your feelings on this? You know, Larry and I are good friends, so I don't have any animosity towards Larry. Whatever tactics he used were, you know, what he invoked during the campaign. <clears throat> Again, I'm just ready to serve and uh, looking forward to the opportunity to serve the city and make it a better place. Well, you heard it here first. The new mayor of Omega City, Bernie Crenshaw, he vows to clean up this town. Only time will tell if he'll be able to keep this promise. How does it feel, big man? All your dreams are finally coming true? Have they hated you for your crown yet? Very funny. You know how I feel about this. Oh, boo-hoo. Such a classic nobleman willing to fight for queen and country, but yet you cringe at the first sight of some spilled blood. Now, you're used to this blood thing. You've got it all under your hands and fingers, and it's all over you. <laughs> Me, I'm not. I'm just trying to do the right thing. Relax, buddy. Why are you so serious? I mean, you're finally getting what you wanted. You're going to take this big garbage heap of a city, and you're going to turn it into something grand. You, Bernie, you're going to save all these peons from a future destitution. Yeah, but at what cost? Oh, you already know the answer to that. Come in. Good morning, Mr. Crenshaw. Good morning, how are you? I'm great. Here are your letters. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, have a seat. I didn't have any chance to sit to sift through them, but you have some pretty interesting ones in there. Yeah, I've got a lot of junk down on. Mm. But I can search through this if you need me to. No, no, no. I've got this, Michelle. I really appreciate this. This is my special project that uh, I'm working on. I'll handle this if I need your help. I'll, I'll just let you know. Okay, but thanks in just a second. Okay, well, I'll be here for a couple more hours. Remember, Bernie, one day I will call upon you, and you must answer, either with your soul or others. I will go ahead. <laughs> hey, baby. Hey. How are you? All right, it's good seeing you. Hey. Hey, how you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Listen, I know you've had a really busy day today, so I brought you a little treat. Oh, wow. Thank you very much. You're welcome. It's, it's been a crazy day. Has know? it? Oh, my goodness. You have no idea. You know, we just signed a lot of projects, good community outreach projects, and uh, that's going to make this city so much better. These people are not going to have to starve and scrimp and scrape like we had to. This is going to be great for the city. That's crazy. Yeah. That's awesome. It is. I really am proud of you. Oh. You know why? Because when we first started dating, that's all you ever talked about. I know. And you did it! You finally implemented the plan and you, you did it. We did it. We did. We did it together. So. We did. Listen, I gotta tell you something. What's that? I have some great news. Uh -uh. Guess what? What? I'm pregnant! What? That's wonderful! Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic! <laughs> that's fantastic! Oh, that's wonderful! Excuse me? Testing my patience, you pretentious little shit! Do you think you are the only one I have to visit? Do you have any idea how many of your fellow idols and colleagues I have to keep under my thumb? Hey, you know. <laughs> Oh, Bernie, you know, if you, if you are too scared to give me your soul, then, well, perhaps, perhaps I can claim another. You know, your wife would work. You're a poor child. I swear to God, 
if you lay a hand on my family. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, what'd you say? You heard what I said. I said, I swear to God, if you lay wait, a hand wait, on my wait, family. Wait, 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 one more time, what? I swear to God, if you lay a hand on my family, <laughs> you keep your hands off my family. <laughs> swear to God. That's what I said. You swear to God. You swear to God. You really think that God's going to lift a finger to save you? So much to do, you know, my wife's pregnant, it's just so much to do, I gotta make sure the baby's okay, gotta be the savior of the city, I don't know if I have it in me anymore. I know more than you think I do. Explain. Well, while you were gone, I took a look at this folder, and I know it's a really shitty thing to do, but I found something you might be interested in. In Article 2, Section B, there's a clause stating about noble sacrifice, and I think you apply to it. Right there. I highlighted it for you. I see. Uh-huh. Well, here's... Because you did so well with the community outreach program, I think you might be able to do this. Hmm. Because you didn't care about anyone else but the city. Okay. Well, you're going to have to help me. Okay? And what I need you to do is, is I've invested a lot of money in this first quarter. Mm -hmm. And I want you to take all that profit, and I want to make sure that you keep investing it in there, into these groups after I leave for these community outreach programs. That is the only way they're going to be sustained. So you got to promise me that after I'm gone, you're going to do that. I can do that for you. All right. I feel much better. It's a shitty deal, but I feel much better. Mr. So Barney. Really? She's having a baby right now? Finally did it. You beat me at my own game. Clause my contract. Nice. That was so damned close. I knew you had to show your face eventually. I felt your presence for a long time at the Capitol. I knew you'd get bored eventually and make your rounds on the smaller cities. Well, you know. I do get bored with the big wigs, so I decided to expand my game a bit. You know, thanks to your keen secretary skills, I guess I'll have to revise my contract. Can't have any more souls slipping through my fingers. I can tell you one thing for sure, though. What's that? It will never happen again. We'll see about that. Yes, we will. 